Okay, and here's what we're gonna do to remove your stock grill. First, of course, just open the hood. And this piece of plastic up here has to come out in order for us to get behind it to remove the grill. So you're gonna have a series of little rivets like this that you need to pop the head up on so that you can remove the entire fastener. You can do this with a screwdriver if you don't have one of these tools. <laughs> All right, now that we have that out of the way, we can access the 10 millimeter bolts along the top of the grill here, 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 and here. All right, here's the first screw. Here we just have some snapping clips, if you can get a shot of that down in the crack there. So all we have to do is just gently pull the grill out from this point. Get on the driver's side and the passenger side. And there we go. All right, so here's our grill. Next step, remove all of our stock factory lettering from the grill. Go and I'll lay the grill down. You can see these rivets on the back of each letter. What I like to use here is a countersink tool that we will go in and drill out that rivet. If you don't have one of these handy, you can use a drill bit and drill down through. So here I'm drilling down just as far as I need to to separate the letter from the grill. I'm then going to use a punch. A 3 16 diameter punch or an eighth inch will work just fine here. And we'll simply push down until it separates. If it doesn't come out easily, you know you haven't drilled quite deep enough. Careful not to drill through too far, especially when using a countersink tool because you could leave a large hole in your grill. Okay, and there's our first letter out, and you can see there what's left. And simply repeat that process for all your letters. And there we go. When installing your screws, remember you're only going into plastic here. So only just give the lightest of snugging to your screws. All right, now I'm gonna install an alternate package of letters. I'm going to do an FORD package with block out plates. Note, where your factory letter C was, there are two deeper bosses here, which are going to require longer screws. And that's it for installing a set of letters on your 21-up Bronco grill. 
Okay, so we have our custom set of grill letters attached to our grill. Installation is just going to be reverse of removal. Snap in the clips once you have everything lined up. Make sure you get all the snaps along the bottom edge all the way home. And then we'll reinstall our four 10 millimeter bolts, drop our plastic back in. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.